Hey there, welcome to Concept Hunter. Today we're going to talk about denudation, which is a word I was not familiar with earlier. Luckily, there's the web search called Google, and um, yeah. The Wikipedia article for denudation states, In geology, denudation is the long-term sum of processes that cause the wearing away of the Earth's surface, leading to a reduction in elevation and relief of landforms and landscapes. Yeah. That's what denudation means, apparently, and that's the game we're going to talk about today. What it does is take two things I love, resource management and platforming, and combines them. This is a Ludum Dare game, it's from Ludum Dare 29, and it was made in 48 hours with a couple of tweaks afterwards and then uploaded here to Newgrounds. And, um, well, it's a concept game. It doesn't really do the, the resource management in a, in a strong way, but it has an inkling of it, and I love that. It, it does it well, and it's a fun little game. It's very short, but it's really, really fun. And I want to show you it, the game, and then uh, show you it, and then we'll talk about resource management. So, press a key. All right, I did. Uh, we got the, the arrow keys. This land is strange to me. All right, it was taken. Okay, we, we, we kind of lost the, the, um, the, the text, and that's really my only concern here with the game. The triggers for text and, and are, are, are sometimes problematic, and sometimes it just disappears and you can't read it. And I did manage to read all of it in its entirety, and it's pretty interesting, and it's, it's a cute little narrative that I like. So I'd like to be able to read it properly, and make sure that if you hit a trigger for the next text line, make sure that at least for some time the previous one was there, because I, I couldn't read that. It was way, way, way too fast. It was instant, because I moved forward. So just make sure those things happen. So as you can see, I'm this little guy, and I can jump, and I can hit stuff with my little... I don't know if it's a sword or a whip or whatever, and then it tells me to press Z, and I press Z, and I suck them all up, as you can see, and I even grew. It's like it's like a, a mushroom. It's like Mario, somewhat. Expanding fragments could be useful, so now I can actually jump by, by expanding this resource that I just gained, and then I can suck them all back up, and as I, as I get to specific uh, landmarks, you can see here with these little um, red markers, then I actually get different abilities. I can gain new abilities by holding many fragments at once. In this case, I actually get to shoot instead of just hit with a little with a little stick. Um, let's just get that one as well. Come on, get, get here. And this should, they should, no, don't get stuck there. I wanna have all of them, and I can actually have all of them, but okay, enough. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. The others are close behind. I should excavate the shrine before they do. So it, it gives you a little bit of a narrative, even though there's no actual time limit, but it's it, it's it's a nice little narrative um, that goes along with what the game does. Whatever this once was, to me, it's only a source of fragments. Whatever, I'm just I just want to become stronger. Blah blah blah. And then I can't really enter the shrine, so we climb up. If the legends are true, breaking the seal of the shrine will grant ancient power. All right, we like ancient power. We like that stuff. So I'll destroy this. It appears that breaking the seal has awoken the shrine. We can reach the shrine. These these actually move around. Uh, the core has retreated below. I actually want to take a little bit more. Now you can see that as, as I break through the other barrier, I can now shoot even bigger projectiles. All right. And then it kind of starts like this, this boss fight. Um, you can see that it's, sh it's shooting pellets. And if I get hit, actually, any damage will cause me to drop all of my fragments. Uh, that's something that can be worked on. Uh, but th they actually, this mechanic is a little bit problematic because you get blown away and all of your fragments get blown away to Kingdom Come and you actually need to go around the entire area, the entire level, in order to find all of them. But they are all there and this is where I want to kind of stop and, and talk about resource management a little bit. So, there isn't really resource management here because I, I never fear losing resources. I mean, I can shoot as much as I goddamn want to and then I can collect them all back. I'm exactly where I, where I stopped, exactly where I stopped. I don't lose anything ever, and this creates a state where I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm never afraid of using resources correctly. This might have been what you were going for, but this kind of creates a game... This isn't really a resource management game, and, and I think that's kind of what you wanted to do. It is up to the designer, and it is not an easy feat in any way to always be able to progress the character needs to always be able to progress, even if you have a lot that give you a lot of resources, which gives you a lot of abilities, or a small amount of resources, which means your abilities are limited. You should always be able to either gain resources or progress in one way. Clearly, when you have more, it's easier. 
But if you have less, you, you should still be able to progress. And this careful balance in terms of resource management is, is not easy to get, but if you find it, it's kind of magical. Clearly this game does not go there at all. In this game, you do have that state where you're, you can always use resources and you're, you're never afraid because they're always going to be there and you can always reclaim them. But if, you, if you're thinking forward, if you want to make this into a serious game or you're thinking about a resource management game, you got to put that in mind. If I have infinite resources, I'm not afraid. There's no fear. There's no punishment for doing something badly. And that's as important as rewarding the player in, in, in some cases. So... Other than that, this is a cute little game. I'm not really going to continue, but it, it kind of goes into this this type of boss fight, and there's a little bit more narrative. It seemed to have burst a hole in its armor, and then you can go in. The core has retreated within. It's it's pretty cool. It's interesting. It's rather short. I'm not going to keep going here, but uh, I, I like the idea. I'd like to see more. You know, you, you gain more resources, you gain more abilities, and you expand these resources in order to do stuff even the basic stuff of double, triple, quadruple, and infinite jumping, that is, and uh, different shots and, and stuff like that. Um, it's a cute little game. It's called Denudation. We learned a new geology term today. It is by Zilix. Again, it's a Ludum Dare game. And that's it for Concept Hunter for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.